Good morning, Busy Bees. I thought today we would go over our lesson for this week, and it is in 1 Corinthians 13, and in my uh, faith journal, you can see I've studied it throughout the week, and it's verses 1 through 6, and I'm going to read it directly from God's Word. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels and have not charity, I am become a sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. And though I have the gifts of prophecy and, the un and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned and have not charity, it profiteth me nothing. Charity suffereth long and is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity vaulteth not itself, is not puffed up, does not behave itself unseemly, seeketh not her own, is not easily provoked, thinketh no evil, rejoice, rejoiceth not in iniquity, but rejoiceth in the truth. So that's where we're going to stop this week. So I'll set my Bible right over here. And this is the study I did. I started by thinking about 1 Corinthians verse 13 verses 3 and 4. And then I thought, no, we want to do all the verses 1 through 6. So this is my notes that I took to study out on it for our lesson. And this is our memory verse, 1 Peter 4, 8. So let's see if I turn my page like this, hopefully you can see it. And above all things, have fervent charity among yourselves, for charity shall cover a multitude of sins. So that's our theme verse for the month. And that's going to be... a we're going to be expanding on that thought today. So I'm going to move. Uh, let's put my Bible up here. I don't put anything on top of my Bible. But I am going to move my uh, book over here. And this is the page we'll be doing this week. I've made a copy. And I'm going to see if I can find a way to link it to our video. Oh, racer stuff so that we can do it together hopefully and here's my one that i thought i would do with you guys this week and i'm going to use this paint palette to do the video while we talk well to do the page while we talk through what we've learned from this and I thought we would start with the background of everything and I got my water and my paintbrushes ready but remember you can do it with whatever you like to do your uh, coloring with you can okay I've dried it I've done my background and I've used the blow dryer and I dried it and this is how it looks so far. So this is when I'm going to start filling in. And I like to use my um, pens or uh, watercolor pencils. And this week I think I want to use my watercolor pencils. That's what I tell you. Just use what you like. Decide what you like and use that. And why I do this, we'll talk about what I've, I've learned and hopefully you will gain from this as well. 
So the first thing I wanted us to think about is, what are we? We're living souls. And remember, we learned that from Genesis 2, 7. Let's put this here. I didn't mark all the pages. All right. Genesis 2, 7 says, And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And man became a living soul. We're living souls. And that is found in the Bible. And so it proves that this is what we are. So I am. What am I? Am I like God is? Loving. So that's why we want to put loving there. So I'm going to get. I think I want, what do we want to do for that? Do we want to do one of these fancy pens and just dry enough and see if about writing on there fancy? Loving. All right, so how about I put on my flower some of this ink here. To tie the two in together. So when we think about this lesson, we're made, created by God because he loves us and God is loving so we should follow after our creator and be loving too. So our question of the week is, am I loving? God is loving. All right, so let's do this area here. And you know what? I said I wanted to do these, but you know what? I think I want to use my pen instead. All right, so I'm going to get the pens out so we can play. All right. So, a bumblebee, I need some black and yellow. I'll let do the black first and I think I want that's a lot to put in with that kind of a black so I think I want to use a black marker I'm afraid it will run though so let's see yeah it spreads out pretty quickly so I have to be careful Because we like to have a bee on our thing because we are busy bees for Jesus. So there is that I got on there. I like that. And I think for the bee's wings, we use a silver glitter pen. Let me make sure we're recording. Yep. Good. Because, you know, sometimes it doesn't do it. And then I'm like, oh, no. So we'll do silver glitter pen and hopefully it'll do what I want it to do from my wings. Because their wings on busy bees are kind of transparent. So while I'm coloring in my wings, I want to think about as a busy bee for Jesus, how can I show love this week? What would be a good thing for me to do to show love this week? Who should I be showing love to? 
And I would say everyone, because God tells us, and that's what we talked about last week, and I believe the week before, God wants us to love one another. So here are my silver wings. All right, and then after that, let's see about some yellow. Which one is, here's the yellow. I've got yellow for the rest of him or her. I guess it'd be a her because it's, it's me, my busy bee. Okay, so for, since I did yellow here, I may want to tie it in over here. So I think the middle of my little flower there, can't, it doesn't show up too well, but it gives it some dimension. All right, so for my stems and my leaves, I think I'll do this green. I like making my journal entries pretty because it draws my attention to it. So when I look at the page, I can remember, that's right. That's when I talk, thought about and I learned about. And I can remember it and listen to my think, thoughts and everything about it. Alrighty, so our first thing, am I loving? God is loving. All right, let's do a heart. We'll, we'll continue on with the red theme. But just because my heart's red doesn't mean yours has to be red. In class, sometimes people make blue hearts, purple hearts, yellow hearts. Make whatever color you want it to be. All right, so from the Am I Loving? God is Loving. Oh, let's put more. That there. A what? So. I want to use, I believe, a blue because I want to put believer. Oh, I hope this blue writes. It's not writing. Let's get a different blue. Let's use, mm, maybe. Or do I want this one? This one writes nice. Let's write it with this one. A believer. All right. Am I loving? God is loving. A believer? Trusting God. All right, so the little arrow I think would be nice if I did it in black there. Try to make it look like an arrow. There we go. How am I treating others? God wants us to be. What does God want us to be? And that's when we have in our lesson. So God wants us to be 
which color should we write it in? Let's do something that stands out. I have this blue, but it, it might not stand out too well because of the background, because it's blue. I guess I'll do it in the, the blue. All right, God wants us to be in Philippians 4, 8. It tells us God wants us to be true. God is true. His word is true. There's no lies. God can't lie. God wants us to be honest. God wants us to be just. He wants us to be the type of person that's fair. God wants us to be pure. God doesn't want us to cheat on him with others in the world. He wants us to have a pure heart loving him. God wants us to be lovely. If we show ourselves to be lovely, wouldn't that be attractive to others and wouldn't they want what we have? Which is God. What God wants is to have a good report. If others say, oh, they're a good person, others will be attracted to us and hopefully see God in us. The next one is virtue. So, at the behavior showing high moral standards. Standards that God would be pleased with. And then this one, God wants us to be praising him. So this is uh this is the picture for this week. I hope you make one in yours. When thoughts come into our minds that are not belonging on this list, pray and ask God to help you to focus your life on him. Focus your life on what he would want you to be. We can't be living for God if we're living for the world. So this is what we need to be focusing on. Living for God and how he wants us to live. To be honest, when I'm living for God and doing what I'm supposed to be doing for God, then I'm happiest. Let's put these hearts over here in this color. Make your page attractive to the eye so that you want to read it again and review it again. And when you share it with others, they want to read it and review it with you. Let's put some purple on here. And remember... You can make it whatever way you want it to be. Because this is the way your journal should be. Your heart letters and reminders and notes from God. Because God does love us. He is very loving. And he wants us to have a close relationship with him. He, and he wants us to share this love with other people. So we need to remind ourselves as well. Because there are days when I'm grumpy. And I need to look at my reminders in my journal 
to help me to remember because being a grumpy person does not help me to spread God's word, does it? It just makes me a grumpy person. Grumpy people aren't fun to be around. So, if we're having a rough day, we should open our journal. And remember, this is the stuff God has taught us, wants us, wants us to remember. I think I want my um, little, I guess it's a dragonfly in this light blue here. I think the prettiest dragonfly I ever saw was in blue colors. And when I see things like this and I make it for a memory, it also reminds me that I wouldn't have gotten to see that at all if God hadn't created it. We're so blessed that he has created us. And uh, let's see what this color looks like. Mm, that's kind of not what I wanted. And we wouldn't have anything in life without him. Let's see what this one's like. No, that's not what I want either. I've got one more little bug here. And I'm trying to decide what I want to make him. I think I want to make his body purple. There, he's a bright little color over on this side. And what color should I make his wings? The silver didn't do so good there. Hmm. That's a hard choice. I could make him a different purple, but I don't think that purple matches. I think, I think I'll do his wings in purple as well. So, our goal this week is to make our journal entries, like I'm doing here for mine. And then throughout the week, each morning, open up our journal, remind ourselves what our goal is to remember to be this week. And then at the end of the day, open up our journals again when we do our prayers at night as well. And then ask God, have I been what you needed me to be? And then if it's no, ask him to forgive you and ask him, what can I do? Please, Lord, help me to be better. Please guide me, direct me, and bless me to be a better person for you, Lord, and a better witness for you. And if it's a yes, say thank you, Lord, for helping me to be the type of person you want me to be. Well, that's it for this week. I'll stand up and see if I can get it all in. There you go. And I hope you enjoyed it and you do your journal page too. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Have a great week, busy bees. Love yous. Bye.